Hi, I'm Mark with Golden Ticker. On uh, Monday, May the 7th, after hours, this is the Gold Silver Spider Report. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, of course, down about two tenths of a percent today is all. And we have sort of a neat little trend developing here. I drew a line uh, in between uh, um, these little uh, uh, lows here. And uh, it is inside this larger downtrend that we're in right now on the gold. Um, but right now we have, uh, we're holding firm here on this trend line here, which is sort of this, uh, still a downward sloping uh, uh, flag formation here. So um, we are now down below, of course, this red line, the 21 day moving average, and uh, below the 50 day moving average, which incidentally is crossing the 100 day moving average. So not a great sign there. But it looks like uh, uh, the 21 day moving average is starting to slope up slightly here. So a few things in our favor here, um, not much. Uh, gold still uh, in a bit of a downtrend here and below key moving average lines. But as you know, markets can change very quickly. So this is definitely worth keeping an eye on. If we hold along this trend line here, then we're going to re-attack this upper trend line here and possibly go for an assault on these overhead resistance lines at these moving averages. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And moving on now to silver, this is the SLV, the silver ETF down three quarters of a percent, not so much luck on the silver, still stuck in this downtrend here, uh, this downward sloping flag formation. Uh, coming back down here, looking to test this lower uh, support line here that I've drawn. Uh, volume was uh, below average today. We've not had real heavy volume since uh, uh, for a couple of weeks here, um, but uh, nonetheless still grinding lower and uh, no such uh, uh, you know little trend like we have going in the GLD. But uh, under the key moving averages, um, the 50-day looking to slope down, maybe crossing uh, the 100 uh, this week or early next week, it looks like, and your 21-day moving average uh, sloping down too. Everything pointed to the downside. Uh, we are underneath all the key moving averages, silver looking weak. And moving on now to stocks, this is the S&P 500 here, the SPY. Um, I've drawn some channel lines along here. We are back down here testing this lower uh, uh, support area here, so far holding um, uh, above these previous lows here. Um, and you notice that these uh, uh, previous lows come within just about uh, 18 cents of each other. And uh, we're back down here, got to a low of uh, 136.46, 136.46, so about uh, 50 cents away from this previous low here. So uh, volume was light here. Um, uh, we did have a little bit of an update uh, up about four one hundredths of a percent. So pretty flat today, actually. But uh, still the um, uh, second close below the blue line, the 50-day moving average. So two closes below that now. And uh, the 21-day crossing under the 50-day, something that hasn't happened in quite a long time. You have to go back to basically the start of this uh, 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 previous rally uh, to go back to that 21 day crossing the 50. So not so great there. Moving sideways now. Um, so stocks flat, um, but in a correction according to IBD. Uh, of course we had some distribution days come in on the major indexes and a lot of the leaders uh, were showing some massive distribution as well. So uh, stay away from, uh, from stocks, silver, and gold if you're a, a short to intermediate term trader is what, uh, what I have to say. And thanks for listening.